party that day. How many of you said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put together a network, ready? Pipe. <laughs> and you went ahead and said, I'm gonna go ahead and develop a network, and I'm gonna network the entire school and get a couple kids and some parents. Y'all said that one parent said, hey, I'm a network system engineer, I can do everything. And then he shows a blade. Yeah. And if you're the only person, I remember when I had to take my first job as a middle school technology coordinator, I was the network guy. And I had to develop the network system. And I sat down on the internet and put in a Yahoo search back then. <laughs> Google was not around. Yahoo search, I said net day. And I learned how to develop a network in a matter of 24 hours. Wow. Entire school depended on my knowledge. Mm -hmm. What a responsibility. How many of you have that same situation? And so, you have to inventory site computers. We have over 900 computers on our site alone. And I'm responsible for four different sites. And I have to make sure that everything is right there when those seed beds or any type of inventory information come through. Turning on the computer, how many of you have those issues too? <laughs> Can you come to my room? What's wrong? It won't turn on. Remember that plug next to the printer? Yeah. <laughs> Look for the other plug next to the printer. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> you got issues. <laughs> she like this. Press the button. That should be a workshop. Who's ever going to be learning how to press the button? <laughs> I can't do it. My fine motor skills are not working. <laughs> but we've got these things. And we also have to be in the buffer between technology. That's a hard goal. You've got people who go like this. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Or they go, la, 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 la. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about technology. I said, come on, boy, I'm going to Cube Conference. Man, Thornburg is speaking. Freddy Dodge. I'm going to answer one Now I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Sit down. <laughs> or I had to pull a car. <laughs> because you oh, have to be the buffer. You have to be the buffer. And that's a key thing we're looking at technology. They also don't understand that you are also, I'm sorry. The electronic janitor. How do you feel that? You see the janitor hand? What time you close it? After I finish turning on all these computers, I'm closing down this time. How do you feel like the electronic janitor? All you do is you carry out a whole bunch of men, a whole lot, lot of this, and then you go, stop these drivers, don't click. You feel like you just are not professional. I went to school. I passed the CBUS. <laughs> people how to turn on computers. Life is too big. But we have to be the janitor, the electronic janitor. There's nothing wrong with being the janitor, but the vision of being the person who does those grand technology programs sometimes has to start there. And so when we look at the technology pointer, he also is the trainer. The trainer. Not only are you fixing stuff, but you're training people on how to fix stuff, hopefully. You're training teachers. You're training parents. I mean, you have to train parents. You got roped into that position too? Yeah. yeah. Train parents. You also have to train administrators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you help me do this email thing and then after that you're going to do your stole evaluation? <laughs> yeah, you got me. How do I log in? Exactly. You also have to train office workers. I know you're teaching right now, but you know what? My outline is not working. Can I send somebody down to cover your class real quick so you can show me how to plug on the mouse? <laughs> you have people like that? Yes. You're the support. You also have to train people off the street. <laughs> you ever have people, there's a phone call for you. Hi, I know you're a tech person. Could you show me how to install windows on my computer? <laughs> you have people like that. You have to do it alone. Because you are the trainer. You're the only person that can do this. <coughs> also, you're the technology assessor. Not only are you the instructional, I'm sorry, the um, electronic janitor, technical support, the trainer, you're the assessor of everything. You are the person that says, hey, I have to identify the hardware needs. I also have to identify the software needs. Keep us legal. Big issue, right? Okay, so you have to have those delicate conversations like, you're going to jail. All right? <laughs> More importantly, you also have to identify network needs. Someone calls, the internet's down. Right, the entire district's down. Well, can you fix it? <laughs> Johnny, sit down. I'm having these TCP IP questions right now. So you have to be aware of that. 
also have to identify site needs, such as email. Why are they not checking their email? And last but not true, and last but not least, staying up on the latest technology. Right there. Thank goodness technology's kind of slowed down a little bit. Thank goodness we're not having the latest and greatest every single year. It's hard to keep up with that, don't you agree? But somehow we've got to slow it down. We're getting smart about that. In other words, we're just saying, you know, this is not this is not smart computer usage. We need to be wise about that. So we're also the assessor. A little disclaimer here. To really get into what it takes to be successful in the technology coordinator. And I say successful like this, because I'm not a success, though I dress pretty good. What did you say? <laughs> That's part of it. It's part of it. You gotta say, let me at least look like I know what I'm doing. Right? I got this bright yellow tie because I know that it's morning. And I know that you guys are missing the sun right now. So here we go. <laughs> but I figured out some strategies. In terms of, in order for me to do my job the way I should be doing my job, there must be something that I need to learn. And don't get me wrong, I've done a lot, such as, I failed. Miserable. How do you fail? Every hand should be up here. If your hand is not up here, up right now, somebody's waiting for you to get back to campus. <laughs> Where did you go? I went to the queue company. You should not go back there. Because as soon as you leave that campus, you're like, oh, please, let's go, please, let's go. You're also going to fry motherboards. I mean, you fry the motherboard. Remember, we were the only people who said, we can do it. We said, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. And I was like, what was that? Just walk away. <laughs> so I fried motherboards. I've also taught lessons 10 minutes before the class. Google search, word processing. Ooh, cool. Fun, it's good. Well, okay, but here's what we're doing today. <laughs> and the, the scary thing about that is, the teacher says, you're so good. <laughs> you're like, I went to the same place that I'm trying to get you to go to. That's what we're trying to do. So I've done that before. And last but not least, I made teachers frustrated. Yeah, How many made teachers frustrated? Oh, okay. Curse your name, you gunky. <laughs> I mean, they were upset that you were in their life. Who hired you? How many names did you cry? Isn't that a great feeling? <laughs> I am powerful! You will listen to me. Yeah, I made the teacher cry. I didn't feel good about it, but thank goodness we got it somehow to kind of come back and kind of think about it. But essentially, I've done all these things. Now, as I learned how to be successful in terms of being a technology coordinator, I realized that I can't do it by myself. As much as I'm the only one who has skills and ability, there, there, there must be another way that I can learn. Because no one said, hey, uh, Mr. Lincoln, here's your manual how to be a technology coordinator. Fantastic. Did anyone get a manual? No. If you did, could you email me that? Because <laughs> no one's sharing that information. Let me say that again. No one's sharing that information. How many technology coordinators do we have right now? Here. Turn to your neighbor and say hi. Hi. <laughs> and say, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Because that's the problem right there. You're, you're, you're really in a boat. You're the only person, and sometimes you're the only person in the district supporting the entire district. <coughs> and so you've got to figure out there must be some research. So I did a Google search, and I fell in love with this person, Jeanette per Perhaim. And the article is titled The Successful Technology Coordinator. <coughs> you ever go on the internet and you say, Whoa, look, check this out. And there she is. I would like to take claim for the information that I'm going to be presenting to you right now, but I have to be honest. I have to get a resource. I had to go out there and say, There's someone else that's experienced the same thing that I've experienced. And they're struggling too, but they're also documenting their struggles. So what I've done is I've adapted this presentation, and I also called for a commission. She's a fantastic person, but essentially, this is my foundation. Because again, I failed. Many books out there that are going to help me get better. I had to find them, or find the article. Yes? So it was okay for me. 
Oh. Janet. J E A N E T T E. Last name Parham. P A R H A M. Google search. <coughs> oh, by the way, I want to share with you. Down here, you're going to see my name, which is very important. Also, you're going to see my email address and my website. That's my school website, so keep that in mind. So let's get started. So we're going to kind of talk about what the successful coordinator is. So we've kind of built a story. We all can identify. Everyone here can identify with all of those stories that I share with you, all of the jokes and the issues. Even though they're funny, they're serious stuff. That's what takes up our time. And we cannot get to the point where the entire school is integrating technology. We're still dealing with some simple stuff, such as turning on the computer. Don't you agree? So we've got to figure out how do we manage our specialty, our talents, what we're trying to do in the school environment. And that's the key thing that we really have to think about. If we're going to be a successful technology coordinator, we've got to figure out how do we manage our specialty, our skills, our talents. Okay? So I want you to take notes, because I think this is going to be essential. I want to share with you how I set up my environment. Over here is the major question. The essential question, the successful technology coordinator is, and you're going to see a component that shows up right here. Okay? More importantly, I'm going to give you some two, two points to kind of think about. Then after that, I want to say, here's your goal. Because after everything is said and done, here's what you want to do. Now already you see, like a menu. And I want you to look over here because as we go further and further into what we call being a successful technology coordinator, you're going to see things pop up that really support this over here. So kind of keep that in mind. Your running list is over here. So if I go a little bit too fast, it's going to be over here. All right? Are we okay with that? Great. So the successful technology coordinator, oh, here goes, cares. That's the number one thing you've got to do. You have to care for what you're there for. It's more than a job. It is a test. You have to understand that when you are in this position, you got to care for it. Because they're watching you. They're seeing how effective you are as a leader on that campus when it comes to technology. You have to be supportive of everything that happens on that campus. You've got to somehow support that information or support that vision. The vision comes from the administrator. Your job is to kind of carry it out using technology in some way. You also have to be encouraging. And now I know it's sometimes hard to encourage teachers, especially when they're talking about getting allowed. But your job, you have to care for their frustration, where it comes from, because it's coming from a genuine place. They're really trying to give with the times. Okay? You also have to listen. The number one skill I think as a technology coordinator you have to have is listening skills. Being able to say, mm-hmm, girl, I hear you. I hear you. And you may not say it like that because the price is, what's wrong with you? That's <laughs> 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 this workshop at Ed Tolaney. He just has this way about saying stuff. Yeah, well, don't do it again. <laughs> you have to listen. And you have to interpret things. See, teachers speak in code. They say thing a lot. I clicked on that thing. Oh, don't touch that thing anymore. <laughs> or they'll say one thing and mean another thing. And so you guys say, <coughs> like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't laugh at them because they won't talk about you again. But you have to be someone who kind of interprets, okay, here's what I think you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, let's try it again. But after everything is said, that you care about their journey. And it's really about their journey and what tools and great things you're bringing, bringing to them. So as a teacher, as a technology coordinator, you have to care for the purpose of your position, to build capacity in terms of integrating technology. Not, though it's a very important part of the job, to be technical support. You don't want to just be technical support. I mean, you just want to be technical support. I think we've gotten smarter. We start off with this job being, hey, I'm the giant on the spot guy. I was went to another seminar, and this guy had a t-shirt, you him. No, I will not fix your computer. Uh -huh. He's got issues. He's tired. He's kind of you got an issue. Is a shirt for me? He said, I'm done. I passed the seatbelts. So you got to care for the teacher. Your goal is to develop a sense of understanding. You see, 
they don't know where you're coming from because they have other issues, other curricular issues.